What up, that Cyber Friends? It's Mitty Man coming back at you from Walks Music. With yet another word for the day. I just want to give a big shout out to the YouTube family. Everybody from my baby, baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT. We just saying that we are just glad to be still among the living. And uh, I just wanted to come back at you. Uh, I've been doing a little networking and a little work. Um, you know, God created us to work. Um, not nothing about no job, but he created us to work. And uh, do, uh, every man should be busy and woman doing something that they were called to do. God gave us all gifts and abilities and talents, and we should be busy about doing them, not something stuck in something that you wouldn't intended. God never intended for you to, be, to do, and he never intended for us to be stuck in anything. But at any rate, I was talking um I was uh, talking to my, my little brother. I called him my little baby brother, Justice, and uh, uh, his uh, home land. And he was talking about our heritage. And uh, matter of fact, he's from Ghana. In other words, that's his, where his mom from Ghana. And we all know it's the motherland uh, in Africa, West Coast. And we all know what took place. And I, I sometimes think, and I just think about all the, the greatness that the continent, the country of Africa, I call it the continent of Africa, call it many countries in that continent. So you just can't say the country of Africa. You've got to say the continent of Africa, for it has many countries. Uh, we as blacks, over in the United States, and uh, we have a label, and we have we have many labels that have been placed on our name or uh, tagged to our heritage. One of them being, if you go all the way back to the time of slavery, when they took great 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 grandpappy from the west coast of Africa, brought them over here. To this U.S. of A. Um, we went from being called nigger to Negro, then from Negro to black. Then all of a sudden they wanted to put a nice tag on us as African Americans. I disagree with it. I disagree with African American. Why? Why do I disagree with that? You said, Mitty Man, what's the matter? Why do you disagree with being tagged African American? Because you took me away from my heritage. Number one, I wasn't born in Africa. I have no connection with my motherland. I am American, period. I am American, period. And I don't say that as a uh, as a lack of respect for the motherland because I don't. And just on the contrary, I've said that with a great pride because of the fact that I know my heritage is much more greater than what I was brought to. That's what I'm talking about. The motherland. When I was kings, I was kings and we were queens in the motherland, but then we were brought to this land, and then we became slaves. Oh no, I don't put down the motherland, not for, the, not for one minute, because there I was a king. Warriors, warriors, great people, and we lost that. That's what admitted man is talking about. But nevertheless, nevertheless, to our all God's creation. We are all God's creation. But like I say, if you, we are not inferior to no one. Let me tell you something, black guy. Let me tell you something, black boy, black girl. You're not inferior to no one. You're a king. You're a prince. You're a princess. You're a queen. Don't let anybody fool you. That's where you come. That's your heritage. That's your heritage. But now, 
You can let what somebody else say dictate how you feel and how you see yourself. I see myself as a, it's just like, I can remember when back in the 70s when they brought out the, the movie Roots. And I love LeVar Burton to this very day for playing the character, Kunta Kente, fighting man of Africa. They took him out of his home, but they couldn't take his home out of him. And I could also love Louis Gossett Jr. Played Fiddler. Prayed to God, says, please, Lord, let this foolish boy go on and say this for the killing that there's going to admit to the name Toby. But even though he said it, but yet it's still in his heart, he was still Kunta Kente. That's the way I tell everybody. Everybody, not just black, but all men, all races, all kindred. You got a heritage. You should be proud in your heritage. That go for white folk, black folk, polka dot folk, blue folk, red folk. Everybody should be a proud of their heritage. And the bread that raised them. Be proud of it. Everybody has some good. Every race of people have put some good things in this earth. Problem is, we just got certain ones that think they are superior to the others. We got, I mean, it's, it's been prevalent people on all people. Nobody is superior over no one else. We all are God's creation. And I think we should be proud in it. And just like I say, I was telling my buddy Justice, I was telling him, I said, I had the trait, a personality trait, of one of the great warriors of Africa, Shaka. And, and, and that, that trait was confidence. You got to be confident when you're a leader. You can't let you can't show fear, and you got to. And you, you, if you're gonna lead people, you got to show them that you are confident, and that you know what you're doing. Even if you don't, you can't let them know it. That's the trait of a good leader. Anything that a leader, if you you cannot lead anywhere that you haven't been either. You must know, and you must have the characteristic, the confidence. You have to have the confidence in it. Be confident in yourself. And in your God, I know that Shaka has some other qualities that a lot of people don't necessarily agree with, but we're not going to go into that. But I'm just saying that we all should be proud of our heritage. Be proud. I'm proud of where I come from. Because where I come from is far better than what I came to. Because at one time, yes, I was king. I was a king in my motherland. Dignitaries in the motherland. We came to this land and we became something else. Not to bring, not to stir up hate, no, but just to just to point out a fact. Fact of the matter is we are all God's children. Just like Martin Luther King said. Black and white need to be together. Red, poke, blue, polka, dot or green. If we all just get together and stop trying to rule over one another. No one is supreme. No race. No race is supreme. But we all are God's children. And I just wanted to say that it's coming from the heart of many man. So with that being said, we're going to say peace. And we wishing that everybody have a safe weekend. Remember, people don't cut the food. Life too short. Don't cut the food out there. Be safe. Yeah. This is Middy Man saying peace. And goodbye.